If you want to have a job, go get one. If you want to take three mile runs, do that. But to just make it up is strange. What are you talking about? You're sitting here lying. What do you mean? I, have I was going to let one or two things go, but you doing too much. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no click back. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph and Tasha. We are back with another video today. We doing my favorite food. Um, if you know here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family you've been for. Welcome back, baby. Tell them what we're doing today. today you guys, we are doing homemade spaghetti mukbang, and we got a viewer topic. Yes. If you want the recipe, I have a recipe in there somewhere. It's called Steph and Tasha spaghetti recipe, I think. Okay. So. And in there, she means on YouTube. Yes. Okay. <laughs> in there on YouTube. All right, guys, you ready? Yes. Let's get into the video. All right, y'all, we back. Bye. <laughs> okay. Ooh, shit. We got spaghetti sauce flying away, baby. What is this? What's up, the edge of your thing? Oh, I thought it was some hair. Plate hair. Oh, okay. Plate hair. All right, y'all, so my baby made some homemade spaghetti. But you said it was rusty, but you added a couple more things this time. Oh, Lord, we need a bigger spoon, get... huh? I can't get my spoon. Oh, we need that giant fork. Yes. Get it? Yes, please. All right. Get the giant fork. Thank you, ladies, first. Oh, Lord. There we go. Sheesh. There. That's all I'm going to have, y'all. All right, so my babe made a homemade spaghetti with a couple new ingredients. I made some lovely cucumber tomato salad yes we got some delicious. garlic bread oh no i didn't even know i needed this in my life with <laughs> spaghetti y'all but i found out recently oh you put the tomatoes Ooh, on top if you greedy get yourself a big ass fork like this okay yes this is all you need one scoop boom and that's me miss greedy i don't want to eat too much bread y'all but since it's sitting in my face Shoot, can't say no. Right, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I'm gonna go ahead and carve it up. Here, put that over there, baby. Oh, I don't want that bread by me here. No. <laughs> you don't want the spaghetti by you? I don't want the bread. So, Tasha made this last night, y'all. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning starving. And I was like, ooh, I should try some of that spaghetti. But I didn't make the and noodles. Then, you didn't even have any pasta. Yeah. So it actually wasn't spaghetti, it was meat sauce. Right. I ate some meat sauce and it was bomb. Thank you. I was like, ooh. So ooh. I'm using cayenne pepper. I'm sorry, babe. I'm using cayenne pepper because it doesn't change the flavor of the food. So mm -hmm. and plus it's good for you. It's good for your blood, right? It's good for like energy and metabolism and stuff like that, yeah. Mm mm. Here she goes. Alexa, stop. She's like, y'all eating? Every time, because we have to set for a certain time. <laughs> I guess we always do videos at this time. Mm -hmm. We know what time not to schedule nothing for. Right. Mm. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. So we got a viewer topic today. We'll be gonna eat for a little bit, y'all. Then we gonna get into that. We got a viewer topic. Stephanie doesn't know Is that what. In your face. Huh? I picked the viewer topic today. Mm. So who knows what it is, y'all? This is good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think I like the tang that the Worcestershire sauce gave it. Mm. It's like a little zing. Mm -hmm. I like that little zing. It's a umami flavor. It's really good. I heard somebody say that. Really? Mm -hmm. uh. I was looking at spaghetti recipes to see if there was anything that I could put in it that I don't already put in. That's the only thing I saw that I was interested in putting in it Worcestershire sauce. So, about how much did you put in there? I only put a dash. I didn't put with the literal dash. Okay. Mm -mm. I probably had two teaspoons. Oh, okay. I didn't put what just they enough. asked for, but because I was scared. Yeah. Good job. Another time I will. You know, if I'm just trying some stuff out. Nah. This is it right here. This is it. Okay. This is it. Okay. Cool. Man, y'all, I went for a three mile run today, so my body feels great. <laughs> what? Mm. Huh? In your dream before you woke up? No. Mm -hmm. What was it? Mm -mm. Don't do me like that, babe. Wait, let me see. Oh, you did wake up before me. She did wake up before me, so I don't know. Maybe that's when it happened, y'all. I didn't see nothing. But mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I'm eating like a pig. It's not. I'm eating like a pig. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm actually on a keto diet. I really haven't been eating anything. I've strictly been eating meat and vegetables. But, um, I just decided today I'm going to go ahead and go out. Since I'm doing spaghetti, you know, I don't really don't want to eat this stuff, but it's all good. I mean, you have been doing good on keto, but no. You ain't been that strict. For the last couple of days, you kind of been slipping up a little bit, actually. I have not. I've been on straight keto. You had fries yesterday. What are you talking about? I, I was a strict free keto. Maybe y'all know what keto is. Mm. I know some people don't. Mm. You definitely want them. <laughs> definitely want them. This stuff is good. Right. I feel like I'm picking out. Like, this is so good. Now going into the video, I was like, I ain't gonna eat that much. <laughs> now that we here. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. This is delicious. And it's, it's crazy because I got these tomatoes. I went to Oxnard, which is like two hours away. And these tomatoes, they're like special tomatoes. Not everybody can get them. Because we do YouTube. You is know, there I, a street called Oxnard, right? Mm, no, I think so. Why? Because the only Oxnard I know of is like at least an hour away. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like you was, well, you were gone long one day, but you didn't even tell me you went to Oxnard. Mm -hmm, I did. You didn't tell me you went to Oxnard. I did. But, okay. I went when I got um, these tomatoes. You could have told me. I would I would have loved to go because I ain't been um, out there to the farms in years. And that strawberry mm -hmm. patch. I saw a strawberry patch. I bought some strawberries, um, but I gave them away to our neighbors. So I, ain't waiting I don't know why I wanted to eat this. Can you give me another piece of bread? No. Go ahead. Hmm? Do it anyway. I said, give me another piece of bread. No. Oh. Man, mm. this stuff is good, y'all. I was going to say, how did know. the... That's some Italian sausage. This time I used 85% ground turkey. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. 85% fat, I'm saying. Usually I, I don't use the fat one, which I don't want to, especially because I'm doing strict keto. Um, I've been eating really light, you know, really good, healthy this is really good though, especially with the vinegar. I don't know why. Spaghetti and vinegar? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I like to put this shit on the spaghetti. A little sauce. Oh, a little really? Drizzle, hell yeah. Mm. Mm. It's too good. Y'all need to try this. Spaghetti with. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all know it's my mind. You got a recipe of how you made this? I ain't gave y'all one bite. Mm -mm. Hey, y'all, you have some bread. If y'all look at the vlog channel, I did show a little bit when I was making it and I gave the ingredients on there. Mm -mm -mm. My body is so tired y'all because like I go to this gym and it's hard because it's outside. It's COVID. Usually when I go walk to the beach I stop at this gym for about an hour and a half doing my um bicep curls so my arms are tired. I'm just Plus having this other job that I have besides you. See, Stephanie, she only does YouTube. She edits videos. Okay, yay. Great. But I have an outside job. And it's hard. It's hard to work, to be outside. It's hard to take care of your son, take care of your wife. Help with all the YouTube stuff that I have to do, like the cooking and cleaning and preparation and stuff. And then I have an eight-hour-a-day job. <coughs> so, mm, 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 mm. Okay. I'm going to cut this out, but... Huh? Why are you lying to that? So why, why are you lying? Why are you trying to like floss like you be doing all this stuff and you just not even true? I mean, babe, can you have the fork? I mean, I'm trying not to say nothing, but okay. Can you have the fork? Because I mean, it's more interesting. I feel like to make up shit. They yeah. know you don't have eight hour job. They don't know anything. Okay. They don't know. It's anyway. Okay. Let's just go. Carry go on. Thank you. You all good, baby? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
be having jealousy, you know? I'm not trying to gas myself up. I'm just being honest. I know that, I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to gas myself up. I'm just saying, if you the shit, you the shit. <laughs> you gotta know what you are. You feel me? I do a lot. I do a lot. And it needs to be recognized. Anywho, I think you should actually start doing stuff so you can have something to talk about this truth. Whoa. Mm. I mean, if you want to have a job, go get one. If you want to take three mile runs, do that. But to just make it up is strange. What am I talking about? You're sitting here lying. What do you mean? What do you mean? What am I talking about? I, have I was going to let one or two things go, but you doing too much. I have proof that I run, that I go to the beach. Okay. I have pictures. At yeah. the beach with myself. Yeah, you go to the beach, but your ass don't be running there. How do you know? I run huh, three miles a day. Four, I'm sorry. It it's four miles to the beach and back. Okay. Are you ready to do a viewer topic? Mm hmm. I am. Mm -mm -mm. so good. Mm. Did you make this too? No, but I told you how to make it. I mean, sure. Uh, I ain't trying to lie about this Yeah. If it wasn't for me, this wouldn't be made and you wouldn't know how to make it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Anyway. Let me start with the topic. Hey, y'all. I'm currently pregnant. I'm seven months. Me and my child's father get along pretty well. Anytime it's a conversation, but anytime it's a conversation about our unborn baby, like me telling him something I want for her. For example, me telling him I'm going to be breastfeeding for her. For a few months, he'll tell me that's not what his mom did or try to control a situation and, and it be over simple things. I feel like a man shouldn't even be worried about something like breastfeeding. We always argue about stuff that could be simple and he'll hit me with, do you think you're going to bed making all the decisions for our daughter? He's seeming like he's going to be super controlling once she gets here and he he's... Oh my God. Super controlling once she gets here. And with his, my, in his ear. Mom. Oh, and with his mom in his ear, it makes no better. Because he wouldn't be telling me these things if she didn't tell him. How can I make him know I'm her mother as well and I don't need to answer to him or anyone about how I'm going to care for my child? I'm sorry that I had such a hard time reading that, you guys. No. It's just well, let me I say something. When y'all send us messages, please proofread. Because we actually read y'all's, you know, the whole thing on here. And it's hard for us to fix it and all that. And well, for this in particular, I just need, I don't have my glasses on. So, it was hard for me to read. Oh. But, oh. I do need glasses. I just don't wear them. So. When did you find out? About what? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? It was a long time ago. I just don't wear them. Okay. Yeah. Um, so anyway, as far as that topic, oh my god. I didn't know we were about to kill I didn't know we were gonna kill the salad. The salad's dead. Right? Yeah. The salad's dead. That I made a lot. No. It's not. Um Tell him that's your baby, okay? I know that when Elijah was born, particular people was trying to tell me what to do. So I just picked Elijah up, moved to Mexico. What? Until y'all stop trying to tell me what to do with my son. <laughs> we won't be living here. So me and Elijah moved back to the States where, um, before I met Stephanie. Wow. You never told me that. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Y'all, I don't know. We, I feel like we've done this topic before, but maybe it was one very similar. Oh, we did something. That we've done recently mm, yeah we did do something similar the other day but this is different she's saying that i don't remember what the other one was exactly but mm -hmm. it wasn't quite it was the mom trying to tell her what to do oh mm -hmm. now it's kind of similar that's probably what made her think about it but why mm -hmm. she hit us up but mm -hmm. you know so it's it's the father okay yeah i now mean it's, it's the dad it, it, just imagine it's probably really hard to be a soon to be father or even a father that wants to be more involved with stuff because in a lot of ways, especially with the pregnancy mm -hmm. and when it's when the child is a baby, the mom is in a lot in control, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're like, okay, we're gonna do this. She wants to breastfeed and he doesn't. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I mean, usually the mom is in control of that. But if the dad is like, well, I want to say so on this, mm -hmm. that's gonna be it's gonna be a hard situation. It is hard. It's like with that, I think there should be no question because breastfeeding is more safe. I mean, healthy, and we know that. Why do you want to give your child synthetic milk? Right. You I know. Agree. But let's say if it was flip flopped and. He wanted her breastfeed and she was like, I don't want to breastfeed. Then we got, yeah, blame her and say, you, you got to breastfeed. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, some people, you, you made a comment actually. I was like, why wouldn't he want her to breastfeed? And he was like, maybe he's going to be jealous of the baby. Like, mm -hmm. I think some men probably are like, I don't, I think of your breast as sexual. I, not as like my baby's food. Right. So maybe well, that's. they need to figure that out for themselves. Maybe that's what it is for him. They need to get, go get a toy in. I don't know. But. Another thing we had a disagreement on. Who? I want that last piece of bread. Nope. Who? Don't. Don't. Get it away from me. We ate way too much. We sure did. <laughs> I'm about to go roll in no, the bedroom. No, we did not. Okay. I we did care. not do that. I'm going to eat this bread. And we ate fast. So imagine how my stomach, if I eat too much, my stomach hurts. Maybe everybody does, right? That was so bomb. But it's too good. It's too good. So bomb. What you want to say? The other day. We decided to make uh, spaghetti because yesterday I was talking to Stephanie. I was like, dang, man, I want some spaghetti. That's not true. I said I want spaghetti for once. And he was like, oh, we haven't had spaghetti in a while. I said, I said I wanted spaghetti. No, you didn't. I said I wanted spaghetti and Stephanie was like, no, I don't want spaghetti. And then she finally was like, all you right. You just going to become a whole entire liar on this video? All of a sudden, you just lie like you Tia now? Mm, okay. Mm. Ooh, shite. She called me Tia, her ex. <laughs> she got oh, an ex that's her ex. That's her yeah, ex. not my ex. No, it's not my ex. That's her ex. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Tell the truth. No. Yeah, you want to lie, go ahead and make lies with me. That is not my ex. Yes, it is. That is not my ex. No. Mm -hmm. That's the opposite day, obviously. Anyway, the problem this is the opposite was, day, obviously. The, the problem, the, the, this is a disagreement me and her had when we were bringing up the subject. Like when females get pregnant and the woman doesn't want the baby. She can easily go get an abortion. But what if the man wants his baby? Yeah. I kind of feel like that's not fair. Yes, it but is, Stephanie, though. Go ahead. It's fair because she has to give birth. She has to be pregnant. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, let me say, it's not fair. No. Okay. But when she down has to, it, to do everything. So you can't be like, yeah, you got to have a baby. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how I feel. If a woman gets pregnant and a dude is like, I don't want this baby. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, I do. And he's like, well, I don't then I don't feel like she needs to be bothering him for child support. He said in the beginning before you got pregnant. Now it'd be different if, okay, so if, uh, I feel like if they're both, if you both, if guys both are doing whatever, and there's a lot of females that, and men too, I'm sure, females that get pregnant on purpose. They'll say they're on birth control and they're really right. not. I know some that have done it or have heard about people that have done it. Then they get pregnant and then it's like they want to get a man for child support. You got pregnant on purpose, sweetheart. Why are you bothering him for money? Yeah, he should have protected himself, but the point is, he believes you thought you were on birth control, and now you go ahead and make a... He didn't want to have a baby for a reason. Maybe he was like, I'm not financially secure enough right now. I don't want to be with a woman that I'm not going to be with and raise a kid. And then you're going to go get pregnant. I don't think that's fair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is the thing. There's a lot of different circumstances that lead to pregnancy. You can have the person lying, and then, you know, putting holes in condoms and all. Bitch, if you're doing that, don't ask me for shit. Yeah. Now, if I stuck my thing in you with nothing... I don't care if they told you they was on birth control or not. You should have protected yourself to make sure you're not going to be shooting any kids in there, okay? That's for the men and my son. Thank you. Don't believe no women talking about I'm on birth control. Make sure you're protecting yourself as well. Now, if y'all get pregnant in the, that circumstance, you are responsible. I'm sorry. The man is responsible. Yeah. Even if he didn't want the kid. If y'all had sex unprotected and y'all got pregnant... And she ends up having a baby. He's still responsible. Yeah, but even if, if he, he didn't want it in the beginning, hey, I'm letting you know right now. Why don't you put your thing in the girl who want a baby? How about that? Put a condom on it at the at the furthest point, but you cannot have sex with her. How about that? If you know she want a baby, she hard up for a baby. Uh. -uh. I mean, I think okay. I ain't putting my thing in somebody hard up for a baby if I don't want one. You don't have one. If I did, I would be putting them in somebody. But it wouldn't be a girl who's harder for a baby. Why are you talking like this? I'm just saying. I'm keeping it real. Y'all, I got this girl pregnant one time and it was <laughs> so hard. Oh. It was so hard. Oh, shit. Okay. It was so hard for me because I really didn't want the baby. And finally, she was just like, all right, fine. I won't have the baby. And I was like, cool. Go, cool, yeah. 
You done? Okay, you done with lying? Oh, it's it's a prank. Oh, okay. oh it, it is. That's, okay. It was a prank. It was. Uh, a, it was. I'm a, a pathological liar. Pathological liar prank. Yeah, I was just <laughs> lying the whole video. Why not? You had me at first. I did. At first, I was just like, well, okay. I, I was like, you, you exaggerating a little bit mm -hmm. with the running. I was like, okay, yeah. whatever. She wants them to think she all fresh and over here running to the. Then yeah. when you said you went to Oxnard, I was like, nah, I don't know. think she went to Oxnard. But you did take a long time yeah, that day. You don't know. You took a I long went, time with yeah. it, and I was like, why is it taking us so long? So I was like, maybe she did go to Oxnard. But then what maybe else I you did. brought? What else your last day? I actually did go to Oxnard. No. Okay. How do you know I didn't go to Oxnard? I just don't think. First of all, I think you would have told me if you went. Why? I wanted to go by myself. But you would have told me when you got back. I went to Oxnard. I didn't want to. I wanted it to be a surprise okay. on the video, today's video. Surprise! Shut your line at Y'all see our little bitty Merry Christmas? Look. Oh my God, it's so little. Did y'all even know this said? <laughs> it said Merry Christmas and it's lit up. <laughs> I, hope she, I hope she left that We about to go, y'all. Yep. All right, so if you like the video, get a thumbs up. Let us know what you guys think. We got a vlog channel, Stephen Tasha Vlogs. Links in the description below. Get us to 100K so we can give away some money. Yes. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace. Ooh, that was good. Ooh. Lord Jesus. Bye. I'm glad I put that whole thing bread on here. Let's Me too. Okay. Yeah, we would have. It's more real. Yeah, let's eat it. Don't leave that in. I just licked the plate. I don't want them oh, to see that. I'll leave that in for sure.